I'm Neil Humphrey and I teach design technology A-level here at Serum Academy. So you're probably wondering why should I choose to study A-level design technology. So the kind of people who we are looking to join us in the course are creative problem solvers. If you are curious how things work, how to solve problems in the world and and really how to take the knowledge that the theoretical knowledge that we know in learning school and apply them to solving real world problems then this is the course for you. Uh, I came into teaching from the design industry and so one of the benefits of studying here is that you'll be working with someone who understands the design industry and how things work so it's pretty much bang up to date technical practical knowledge. We have a purpose-built standalone facility here at the college, which means that we've got space in which to practice our craft, to experiment and to come up with great ideas. And also we're going to have small class sizes, which means that you won't be fighting to get your voice heard against a massive class of other students. A-level design technology is a gateway to a fantastic world of opportunity within design, engineering and a whole gamut of careers within the creative industry. If you're looking to go on to university there and to study specific industrial design or product design, design technology is, is a must at A-level. Um, if you're looking for a job in, for example, apprenticeships in any kind of technical field, the technical knowledge that you'll amass over the course of this um, of course the time doing A level it's going to be invaluable but also the the more broader creative industry so jobs in in advertising in graphic design um, or even more specific subjects like architecture these are all avenues that are open up to you with an A level in design technology so at CERM we break the A-level down into the four fundamental principles, which is investigation, designing, making and building technical knowledge. So through the process of a number of projects, we will then be putting these skills into practice and developing knowledge as we go. The great thing about design technology as a discipline within school is that we have a balance between practical projects and a, an exam. So when it comes to the final, final hurdle, we have uh, non-examined assessment, which is basically a self-directed um, practical project that counts for the best part 50% of your final grade, which means that by the time it comes down to the, the written paper, the exam itself, you could have a good chunk of your grade already in the bag. Music